I'm really like that Ooh, girl. Oh, it's given July. Mm, on a yacht. <laughs> Hey Gems, it's Grandma Jemima and we are back at it again with another video. So today, we are going to be doing a slightly chaotic perfume video. I'm going to be showing you the items that I've purchased recently. I'm going to be showing you items that I would pair them with because y'all know I love to mix and match. And I'm also going to be giving you guys some recommendations for the upcoming Sephora sale. So... It took everything in me not to include all of my fall favorites in this video, but I was just like, child, y'all not about to watch a, a fragrance video that's an hour and a half long. So I said, let's start off with this for now. And then I'll either make another video or add more details in a vlog or something. But either way, y'all won't get the info. Just, I'm not going to overwhelm you this one time. <laughs> but before we get started, are you subscribed? I spent all this coin and I'm about to put y'all onto some fire fall fragrances. The least you can do is subscribe. Cause how else are we gonna get the, the, the second drop? Stay woke. Let's get started. So the first two fragrances that I purchased were actually from Sephora. So perfect for the upcoming sale. Um, they were both blind buys because I like playing Russian Roulette, apparently. Um, this one is Commodity Milk Bold, I believe it's called. This falls under the warm and spicy category. I love like, especially for fall, warm and spicy me sound. Especially anything with vanilla, please. Anything that's like a gourmand, like a sweet, succulent, like comfy smell. Please sign me up. That is my vibe. And you're definitely going to see that in pretty much this entire haul. <laughs> so this has notes of firewood, mahogany wood, and tonka. And it gives off like a smoky, sweet, and creamy vibe. I actually wore this when I was um, in Dallas. And my friend said that she got oud vibes from this. I didn't think that's what it gave. But, you know, maybe when it mixes with my pheromones, that's what it portrays. But... If it does give that, it's gonna be very subtle. Like, I'm definitely getting more and more into ouds. I'm not like a real oud girl. I'm very much like, I like to dabble a little bit in the ouds and then I'll mix it with something that's more sweet and like more like sensual in my mind and make it into my own vibe. So like I said, that's pretty much the basis of this entire haul. So if you don't like sweet smelling fragrances, if you don't like vanillas or like caramel, fruity, things like that, like, mm. This is probably not the one for you, sis. So I'm so sorry. But this is that Sephora Balm. Beautiful. Mmm. Ew, is that fingerprints? Now, I will say that I've worn it a couple times. And the one time I really got compliments from a lot of people is when I oversprayed. So I feel like when you, you know, do your usual squirts all over the body, it gives very much skin scent. So you have to do a little bit extra if you want that projection, if you want that compliment, that attention that you deserve. But baby, when I tell y'all spray that thing on, everybody was loving it. So yeah, that's my number one blind buy. Y'all, these blind buys were successful. I absolutely love that for me. The second one is from the brand Fleur, I want to say, P-H-L-U-R. This is in Somebody Wood. This was also a blind buy. This is definitely more of a earthy, woody fragrance. If you see me looking down, y'all know I always got notes, okay? Because what about me, I'm going to forget otherwise. So yeah, so this falls under earthy and woody, and it has notes of sandalwood, amber, and musk. Now for the commodity, you can mix this, but this is generally a fragrance that I wear by itself to let it have its moment, honey. She don't need no pair, she don't need no friend, she don't need no buddy, nothing. She Gucci all by herself. Now if you want to mix, that's up to you. But this one I wear by itself. This, I love the woody vibes of this, but I generally like to mix woody with something else. Either something super fresh or like fruity. In my mind, vanilla goes with like 90% of all my fragrances because I usually prefer fragrances that has a base of vanilla anyways, so it just automatically matches. The perfume that I would pair this with is my Kayali Eden Juicy Apple. Now, ever since Brittany put the girls on to this and the Kayali Vanilla mix, 
I have been obsessed. Mind you, I don't actually love this by itself. It gives me very much Bath and Body Works, juicy, fruit smelling body spray. Um, but I find that because of the fruit notes in this, like the berries and stuff, it actually pairs quite well as an extra layer of fruity notes. Child, y'all, I'm gonna struggle through this video, but y'all gonna know what I mean though, period. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so you're going to see that I use this uh, quite a few times to mix with um, some fragrances that I'm going to list below. So next, we're going to get into the fragrances that I've been purchasing from Amazon. Like I told y'all, I'm slowly like creeping into the, the oud department. And you know, when I'm searching, I'm looking for like subtle ouds, ouds that I like mixed in with other fragrances that I like. Um, and when I saw this bottle, I said, first of all, she's gorgeous i'm trying not to like have the lights reflect on it too much like oh the fingerprints oh but it's like all gold like gorgeous bottle and sometimes that's how you get sucked in it's like do you love the perfume or just do you love how the perfume bottle looks it's kind of both um but i actually really do enjoy this fragrance this is an oud that i can wear by itself it's called shagoff Shagaf, I'm not exactly sure. I can wear this by itself. It's not like overwhelming for me. Like I said, I'm not I'm not a real old girl. I'm, I'm real fake, okay? Um, so this is soft enough that I feel sexy when I wear this. But when I mix it, I like to mix it with Vanilla Woods, The Seven Virtues. I have been wearing the heck out of this perfume lately. I mean, you can't really tell, but this is a beautiful mixture as well. Like... Mm, this is from Sephora, so you can get it in the sale. But baby, when I tell you this perfume just has been layering, especially with like more oody, deeper scents, you guys know that vanilla bourbon from Target is usually my go-to layering vanilla. But because that vanilla already has its own smokiness, I don't tend to pair it with something that already has that depth to it. Now you absolutely can, but I just generally prefer to go something that has like a little bit more of a different vibe and this one is it like it's not like a pure vanilla i think this has like pear or something in it like what's in this i could be lying about the pear chow i don't know but this vanilla is fire okay Ugh, i mix this into so many fragrances like there's just certain perfumes that you need because of mixing the fact that you can elevate any fragrance with like simple pieces like this one you need it you need it so the next fragrance, where I put it? This is Casimir by Chopara. I'm probably butchering all of these names, but isn't this a gorgeous bottle? Like, she's so pretty. Now, this one has more of a woody, musky, and fruity note to it, okay? Um, I like to mix this. Mm, I like to mix this. Ooh. I like to mix this with the Kali Eden again when I want to bring out the fruitiness. So like if I want to go from like a more juicy vibe, I'll go the Eden route. If I want to go the more sensual vanilla like you want to be all of on me vibe, I once again, Seven Virtues. This mix right here, I feel like I fell in love with, uh, I fell in love with all of these. Honestly, y'all, I'm not going to lie. I just, I'm so overwhelmed with the joy that all of these pairings bring me. I have been living my best life, okay? Like, I, when I tell y'all mix these two, because by itself, I, I was like, mm, I don't love it. I don't love it. This was a blind buy. All of these are blind buys because I'm an irresponsible shopper, okay? So by itself, I was like, mm, I don't love it. So I sprayed it on both arms. One arm, I sprayed the Eat and Juicy. The other arm, I sprayed the Vanilla Woods. They both smelled good. But that Vanilla Woods mix, when I tell you, I look like, oh, oh, oh. I was in the bed. Oh. And then I did another test. I took a shower. Um, and then I had sprayed like all the ones I had just purchased on different parts of my arms. Baby, even after the shower, I could still smell like hints of the fragrances. I, when I tell you, I've been living my best fragrance life, please please like am i an oud girl ah, love it but yeah this is the best mix like i'm telling you 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 just need this it mixes so well so well so well all right y'all we're gonna keep it moving next <laughs> i'm actually wearing it now this is probably my most favorite mix of all oud vanilla mm. 
First of all, let's get into the bottle though. I didn't even realize how gorgeous this bottle was like on camera. I feel like you can see the, like the different like tones. It goes from like purple to orange. I love this. Out of all the fragrances that I purchased, this might be the oodiest one. <laughs> But as you can see from the name, it does have a blend of vanilla already in it. So when I put these two together, I it's like the most beautiful, like smoky, sweet fragrance. And I just feel like whenever I, I don't know how to describe this, like, I don't know, it just gives me sultry. Like, I'm, I got a, a, a fire, sexy outfit on. I'm going out. Or I'm going to be like at a, a, a cigar lounge. Or to, uh, some, I don't know. Like, that's the vibe that it gives me. And like, somebody's son is going to be like, all of all me, we nestled in the corner something, drinking bourbon. Like, and it's, and it's grown and sexy. Like, I, I don't have the words. I just have the emotions. Like, I wish you can feel my emotions through the camera. But this just gives me all of the feels, y'all. Like, I'm really like that ooh girl. Oh, it's giving Dubai mm, on a yacht, period. <laughs> Crying. Okay, so this is another one, Amazon. Casablanca. This one had so many great reviews. This is Woody and Fruity. And honestly, I would wear this by itself. I feel like this gives me the vibes that I thought this was gonna give me. She is such a pretty fruity scent, but it's a deeper scent. Like it's, Kaoli, love her life, but she doesn't have that depth that I'm looking for. I feel like if she had a grown and sexy auntie that was about her bag, about that life, this is her. Like, when I tell you long distance, that don't even really talk, really. Mm, third cousins maybe like I don't even like they're just not like I said love her great for mixing but this 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 is delicioso okay now if you want to mix you can uh that Kaoli vanilla 28 if you want to mix you absolutely can but this is definitely one that you can love by itself okay love that for me Last but not least, I have this perfume oil. First of all, can we get into the bottle? Can we just get into the bottle? Like, she's so pretty. Now this has fruity and floral tones. When I smell it, I smell the fruit and I also smell like rose. And I'm not the biggest rose fan, so the fact that they can somehow develop this into a fragrance that I actually enjoy, shocked and appalled. Now this will smell really good with this Chagoff Oud. Um, so if you like ouds with a little bit of floral to it, this mix is going to get you there. It's going to take you there. So this is an oil. Personally, um, mm, I feel like I would layer this first and put the oil on top, but I don't know if chemically that's the correct thing to do. So don't listen to me. But in my mind, you put the strongest scent down first, and then you put the mixer on top. Like I said, that's in my mind. I, I really don't know what I'm saying. So I, because as an oil, you would think, no, put the oil first and then the fragrance. I don't know. I don't know. I just lied. I said I was only gonna do a, like Sephora videos to get y'all ready for the Sephora sale. But I mean, if all my favorites are here, then we might as well just talk about it, right? I'm just gonna skim through them really quickly. So we already went over the Kaoli Vanilla 28. This is one of those muskier vanillas. I love vanilla with depth to it. Like I just absolutely love her life. Please. They're so, I mean they're both vanillas, but they're so different. They're so different and you need both, period. Um, the Kaoli Eden, I enjoy this, but if you have like a fruity perfume already, I would try that to see how that mixes with other perfumes. Um, Dang, I really do be wearing this. I've been mixing the heck out of this. Y'all, I have quite a large perfume collection. So anytime you see any kind of dent, that means she is getting worn, okay? Like, dang, dang, dang. 
Also, the Commodity. I really love that fragrance as well. Definitely look into it, y'all. Definitely look into it. Now, we have all heard about this fragrance. I, tr I tried to mention fragrances that people don't... Oh, I'm lying. Oh. Mm. <sighs> Okay, we're gonna do an honorable mention. I just, I just have to make coffee break. You just, I, it's just coffee break. It's like a nice creamy, like fall scent. I just, can I really do a fall fragrance video without including it? And I try because I feel like everyone talks about it, but everyone also talks about Angel Share and it's right here for me to talk about because I'm obsessed, please. Angel Share smells like the sweetest spicy dessert. But it's more sweet than anything. Like, honestly, if I'm really trying to snatch your man, if I want your father in my DMs, this is probably the girl I'm going for. Like, it just, it never fails. It never fails at all. At all. But I do have some other favorites. Um, the Vanilla Bourbon from Target. Love that. It's like 20 bucks. I have two bottles. I keep one in my travel bag, one here. I was thinking about getting a third, but I'm like, Jamima, you need to relax. Like please. Once again, a vanilla with depth to it, which I love. Beautiful for mixing. Beautiful by itself. Long lasting. You just can't go wrong. Wow. I have a lot of vanilla perfumes and they're all so different. I promise you. Byretto Antique Vanilla. I actually uh, found out about this through Aaliyah's fragrance video and as soon as she said it, like literally she was still talking, I was ordering and having it shipped to my house overnight, please. Um, cause wouldn't it buy right or come out with a vanilla perfume? Oh, now this, I feel like I would much rather reach for this than, is it by the fireplace or jazz club? The Maison Marchelaire? Like it gives me that cigar lounge vibe. I can't even say what I'd rather reach for because they both just gives that sexy cigar vibe. Like, uh, when I picture this, I'm just thinking about wearing all black. Like, uh, I love fragrances. Oh my God. Oh, I I've been wearing this. I've been wearing all of these nonstop, clearly. I just be in the house smelling good, smelling delicious, okay? To my fresh out the shower, <laughs> smelling like uh, 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 antique vanilla. Ooh. Nine o'clock in the morning. Ood. <laughs> um, I know the girls love Lost Cherry, but I feel like nobody ever talks about Little Di Givenchy. I think it's the Rouge. <laughs> yeah, the Rouge. <laughs> and I feel like this is like their cousin. Nobody talks about this though. And it's like a sexy, smoky cherry scent. Oh. Nobody talks about this and I don't know why. But, oh, like if I could picture like maybe how a black cherry would smell, um, that's what this gives. And I feel like it's so sexy for like nighttime. Maybe like a little pepper. I'm completely guessing. Why should be some random like amber, saffron? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but. That's another one that smells really good and decadent that people don't talk about. Like, get on that, y'all. Now, in my past hauls, I told y'all about Guerlain. This is the intense one, I think. Yeah, this is the intense version. So it's like a huskier, deeper, sweeter perfume. And I mentioned like the Guerlain perfume, it smells beautiful. It doesn't give you wow vibes when you smell it. But at the same time, when people smell it, it gives wild vibes. I don't understand how to explain it. Like, it smells very, not very, it just smells nice. But I feel like when you put that nice with how you look, it just amps it up. And I feel like that's what makes people give, give you a lot of compliments. I don't know, but it just, it's very sexy nice. If that makes sense. So definitely get the intense version, perfect for fall. Y'all know anything muskier, anything stronger, earthier, oodier is perfect for fall. Please love that. Last but not least, I had to mention my girl Fenty. When I bought this, it was like the end of winter, early spring, and it was not giving what I thought it was gonna give. Cause like, it was giving me warm and spicy, very much like 
the other fragrances here. And so I said, where are the blueberry notes? I guess I could see a little bit if I tell my mind to look for it. Um, it does smell good. But I feel like this is another one that will pair beautifully with... Actually, I feel like this would be nice with Kaoli 28. <sighs> Love that. But I was like, I don't know why they don't, they don't sell Fenty perfume on the Sephora website. But I don't think this is Fenty Beauty. I think this might be affiliated with like more so the Fenty like clothing line. I'm not sure, but if you have Fenty perfume, now is the time to wear it. I, I don't know about that spring and summer, but fall and winter? Bring her out. Bring her out. Yeah, I think that's it for my recommendations. I'm also going to tell you guys about what I have in my cart. I do have like three or four fragrances that I want to pick up during the sale. Mm. Let me show you. Okay, so I am a huge fan of the Valentino Born in Roma fragrance. Like, huge fan. Absolutely love it. So I definitely want to try the Uomo Born in Roma. I feel like it'll give more of that sexier nighttime muskier heavier fragrance that i'm looking for so i'm really hoping that i enjoy that I, i'm definitely gonna pick that up um i also picked up the commodity gold expressive i feel like the entire vibe of commodity is actually the bold versions and i feel like the bold versions are like the extras or the um intense versions i'm not sure about that exactly but I feel like that's what it is. And so y'all not like bold everything. Bold me zone, okay? So I'm gonna get the gold expressive. I don't even know what that smells like. Like, let me see what these notes gonna be. Let me see what these notes gonna be. Okay, warm and spicy category. All me, of course. Um, the key notes are molten amber, love amber, vanilla, creamy musk. give her to me immediately please creamy musk vanilla come on come on that's definitely in my cart i have the joe malone myrrh and tonka cologne intense i don't actually know if i'm going to love that or not but i do enjoy tonka mixing into other fragrances so i said it's worth a try um let me see what the notes are in this one. It's Jumbo one that's like pretty straightforward. Lavender, umumbiri, myrrh, and tonka bean. I feel like this is going to be like a stronger scent. This is warm and spicy as well. I feel like it's going to be heavier on the spicy side, but I'm not exactly sure. But we shall see, and I'll see what I can mix it with to see like if I can bring out that tonka flavor a little bit more. Love her life. I also have Commodity Velvet Expressive. Vo I have all the Commodity fragrances, basically. Yeah, I have Commodity Woody. Um, I have the Madagascar Vanilla Perfume Oil from Nest. There's a set, and I'm absolutely gonna get that because I love uh, perfume oils, great for layering. Like you guys have seen, I have my Kumba ones I have from Amazon. I have the Vanilla Woods Perfume as a, as a uh, perfume oil. Your girl just be having all the fragrances, okay? And that's one period. It's all smelling delicious. I saw this fragrance called Casba. Casba. Um, it's my first time seeing this brand. And let me see. It's in a warm and spicy, of course. Um, and it has notes of white honey, patchouli, and sandalwood. Now, fragrances with patchouli in it, mm, mm, it's touch and go for me. Like, Patchouli is a strong as ho, okay? When a friend's got patchouli in it, you know. You know. So I'm going to see what it's going to give. Because I'm like, aside from the honey, is that the only gourmand aspect? So I don't, I'm a little scared about that one. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. But people have been leaving good reviews about it. People say it's sweet, warm, mysterious, intoxicating, sensual, and unique. Um, everything that sounds like me, so I'm really excited. Um, I'm gonna see if there are any other like ouds available at Sephora. Um, let me see. Okay, oh, Joe Malone has like a velvet rose and oud cologne. Oh, remember when I said to mix the perfume oil with the Chagoff? Is that what the Joe Malone smells like? 
I feel like I need to go and smell them. Tom Ford has a oud. Tom Ford is very strong in general, so I don't think I'm, I'm ready for that. For that, I'm, Juliet has a gun, has a oud. Killian has a oud. Yeah, I definitely need to go into a Sephora and, and smell some of these. Like, soft oud me, please. I love it. Oh my gosh, now me adding more to cart. That's wild. Jamima, please, you have eight things in my rent. That That's how much is in my car, the price of my rent, please. Like, it's getting out of hand at this point. <gasps> And this is limited edition, y'all. Killian has a rose oud as well. So that's a thing, I think. Rose and oud. Look at me pairing the oil with the, the oud and not even knowing that was a thing. Like, at this point, I need to go to perfume school. Please, Jimmy, you sign up for something. Like, y'all, when I tell y'all, I, I have been in heaven playing with fragrances. Love that for me. But that is it for today's video. I will have the links to everything for you down below. Don't forget, Sephora sale, it's going to be between 10 and 20% depending on what your SATA is with the rewards program, the Beauty Insider program. Y'all, it's only twice a year. Please go ham now, okay? If you can avoid paying for anything full price, go ham. If you haven't seen my... Um, other Sephora recommendation video, please watch that. That's more so makeup, beauty, skincare, and stuff. This is all fragrance. This is the time, okay? Gather your coins. Christmas is around the Christmas, Christmas is around the corner. You know your girl loves that oud. Your friend loves that perfume. Your other friend likes that lipstick. Go ahead and get them now and save you a buck, a buckaroo, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Toodles. <laughs> This video was shambles, but oh, I love perfume. That's all, folks.